Shu Wait Port is an urban industrial area within the Al Asma Governorate in state of Kuwait. A number of Kuwait's ports, educational institutions, hospitals, and several offices reside in the area. The major cargo ports are in Shu Wait Port. In 1985, almost 3,000 people lived in the port of Shu Wait. The area around the port of Shu Wait is partly industrial and partly rural. Shu Wait Industrial Area the core industrial area of Al Shuwaik contains the Friday market at Elri Place. It starts every Thursday in the afternoon and goes on till Friday evening and sells clothes, accessories, furniture, carpets, animals, plants, antiques and souvenirs and new and used goods. The area is known as the industrial section of Kuwait as most manufacturers can be found in that area. Car repairs are mostly located in this part of Kuwait. Also many car dealerships are located in this area. Houses in this area are usually from old times. The electric power station and water desalinization plant in the port of Shuwaik supply Kuwait City. The Kuwait Free Trade Zone is located on Jamal Abdul Nasser Road which connects Shuwaik Port to Kuwait City. Several hospitals can be found in Shuwaik Region, Al Sabah Hospital, the Chest Hospital. Other important places are the Gulf Bank of Kuwait, City Center Shopping, KGL Transports, etc. Several major car dealer showrooms can be found in Shuwaik Industrial Area. Damaged battleships, fishing trawlers and dows from pre-Gulf War eras can be found along the shorelines near Shuwaik Port. The Port of Shuwaik, the Port of Shuwaik is Kuwait a Euro unregistered trademark's most important port. Located immediately west of Kuwait City, it lies on the southern shores of Kuwait Bay off the Persian Gulf. The Kuwait Ports Authority manages and operates the Port of Shuwaik. The Port of Shuwaik serves ocean-going vessels at its deep water berths, and it has ample modern container facilities. It is the county Euro unregistered trademark's most important commercial port and covers 320 hectares of land and 120 hectares of water surface. The navigation channel inside Kuwait Bay is dredged to a depth of 8.5 meters, and it is about 8 kilometers long. At any tide, the port of Shuwaik can receive vessels to 7.5 meters draft. At high tide, vessels to 9.5 meters draft can enter and leave the port of Shuwaik. The port of Shuwaik contains 21 berths with a total length of 40-55 meters. 14 of the berths have a depth of 10 meters. 4 are 8.5 meters deep, and 3 have a long side depth of 6.7 meters. Cargo vessels traveling through the port of Shuwaik include merchant ships and other vessels that include liners, trams, fishing trawlers, and small passenger ships as well as cargo-laden container and roll-on roll-off vessels and barges. Emergency Peaking Power Shuwaik, in 2008 the Kuwaiti Ministry of Energy signed a $270 million dollar contract to build a 200 MW power plant, making it the largest aerod derivative engine power plant of its kind in the Middle East. The engineering, procurement and construction efforts were contracted to HPI, LLC, a full-service power and turbine controls company in Houston, S&W Energy Solutions Incorporated, an engineering firm, and Alganum International a large Kuwaiti civil and electromechanical contractor. The power plant was built to assure a supply of electrical power to Kuwait City during the peak power usage months. Kuwait University, the Kuwait University campus, which is a public university is located close to the port, which is the main campus with several extensions in Mubarak al Kabah, Khaldiyar and Jabriya. The campus at Shuwaik incorporates the residential quarters for university staff as well. Entertainment facilities are available with swimming pools, gaming arenas, tennis courts, basketball courts and much more and a cinema played every Thursday evening at the University Faculty Members Club. Transport Most areas in Kuwait are well connected by public transport buses with two major corporations, City Bus and Kuwait Public Transport Company running services throughout the day, though public transports are used by few people only. In 2008, a railway network connecting the Gulf states was proposed, although work is yet to start, quoted from Railway Gazette International. A metro network was designed, 
with four lines and stations across the entire city and suburbs. Although it has faced considerable delays, the project is expected to commence construction sometime in 2011 and open parts of the first two lines by 2016-7. Kuwait International Airport is the primary airport for the country serving a wide variety of local and international destinations. Shuwait Port is directly connected with the Kuwait International Airport via the Ghazali Expressway, Road 60. See also, List of United Kingdom military installations used during Operation Telic. References